Hello and welcome to Mr. E's Watch Reviews. Um, sorry for the glare there. There's a crack in my screen and I'm going to try to keep this brief. Um, today we're going to be doing a build video. Uh, just a little disclaimer, I am not a watchmaker. I am no way professional or anything like that. Um, it is a hobby. I tinker. Um, if you guys are really wanting to learn how to work on a watch, please go check out the channel's Wrist Watch Revival and The Watcher. Uh, my buddy Z is much better modder than I am. Um, this is actually only the second or third watch that I've, you know, gone in, replaced the entire movement dial on hands and everything like that. Uh, you know, for all you professional watchmakers, if you go to watch this, don't be freaking out in my comments. Okay. I know there's a little bit of dust here and there. You know, it's not the most ideal situations and blah, blah, blah. But it's my watch. I don't want to hear shit. Okay. I know. Mm. okay cool so now that we got all that out of the way if you're not already subscribed please subscribe become a member uh also hit the notification bell but enjoy the video i'm sorry that all the camera work is not super great um hence why i'm telling you to go check out those other two channels because if you're really wanting to learn how to do this stuff they're the ones you want to learn from not me um yeah so with all that being said i hope you guys enjoy Check it out. Bye. Hello, and welcome to Mr. E's Watch Reviews. Today's going to be a little different, you guys. Uh, we're going to be doing some watch work. So, taking off the SN0136 that I got the other day. Uh, that, I really like that thing. I've worn that the last two days. Like Basically, I've worn it since I got here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, What the hell did I do with them? Oh, hang on a second. Uh, since we're going to be doing a little bit of watch work today, it's not because I don't want y'all seeing my hands, but, you know, you want to try and keep your fingerprints off of the shit. So, we're putting on the proctologist gloves, you know. Yeah. So we're all gloved up. No glove, no love. All right. Let's see. Try and recalculate this light doohickey here. Damn it, that lid is all up in the way. Hold on, y'all. Had to pop this lid off. Damn it. I know it comes off. I swear it comes off. Well, let's see if we can just get down. Damn it all. I'm trying to get it to where y'all be able to see good, but. Alright, well, that's just not fucking working. So we're just going to bring it back up high. And I'll tell you what. Let's see if we can zoom in a little bit. Okay, there we go. All right. That's better. All right, so got my hands. This is, oh, damn it. The dial we'll be using. And I do like this. I think that's going to look right spiffy. And we got our NH34A right here. And we're going to put everything into the back of this bad boy. So, all right. Uh, let's see. I guess first things first. Uh, let's get our movement holder. Grab that out of there. All right. Hang on a second. Let's, let's zoom out a little, just a little bit. Okay. All right. So, damn it. Sorry, there will probably be a lot of that going on, the bumping and the knocking and... All that kind of bullshit. Mm, let's see. Um, yeah, that's the two tabs. There we go. All right, with the extra crown stem and our little washer. You got to put that on before you put on the dial. Let's see, you get our movement out. Sorry. I'm trying to keep everything on camera here. 
Let's see. I've only videotaped myself one other time working on a watch, and I don't know. I, I might put it up because, I mean, I do have the video. Um, the watch is broke, and, of course, I just took it apart, you know, roughly and tried to put it back together, and, yeah. All right. Let's get this out of the package. All right. Now, on this thing here, my issue last time and i believe i'm going to have the same problem this time is that there are two pins on the back of the dial but there's only two holes or no there's four pins on the back of the dial and there's only two holes to go for them to lock into like right here and right there so last time i had to figure out which one i wanted to use which two and i had to cut the other ones off so, I was really hoping I wasn't going to have to do that this time, but apparently that's just kind of what looks like it's going to have to be. All right, so we're going to set that in there. Get that locked down. All right. Damn it. And see, this is why I don't like wearing gloves, because I can't fucking get my shit in there. There we go. All right. So. Take out our dial. Look at that. That's a nice, pretty sunburst dial. All right. Now, I'm not forgetting my washer, you guys. I'm just trying to figure out which ones I need to use here. All right, let's see. Good Lord, they are upset. Yeah, it's Huh? Are you recording? They are having a temper tantrum. Good Lord. All right, so I don't need that one. I don't need the bottom ones. Okay. All right, so we're going to snip off that one and that one. And, oh, tag on it. All right, we got one to break off down there pretty flush. All right, let's see if we can get the second one. And that is the lower one, yep. I don't know why they do it like that. I guess, you know, well, I don't know. Like I said, I just, that's the second time that's happened. I've gotten it, and uh, that was not the way it needed to be. All right, so we're going to now open this up. We just want the washers, what we want. We're going to dump it right into there. Damn it. Oh, this is the worst. Okay. Tweezers in the bag. Now it's time to play operation. All right, so you drop your washer on there. <clears throat> and then this... On this one here, there, there isn't little screws. It's just like a press fit. Just get it lined up in the holes. Hang on a second. I got to see what I'm doing. I got to bring it up to my face.
hang on. Me being nearsighted and whatnot, like my glasses really f my eyeballs up when I'm trying to see up close and teeny tiny like that. Oh, this is why cheap movement holders suck also. Uh, don't tell me. Fuck. Uh, fuck a duck. Okay, well, apparently I needed the top or the bottom one there and the top one there. Or, yeah. Damn it. Okay, well, next time, look before you uh, cut, but let's see, I then screwed up. But I'm pretty sure I can make this still work. Because once this motherfucker gets into the watch, it ain't going to move around. All right. Do, do, do. You dirty bitch. So that's on there good. And that's actually should be holding it good and tight now. No, you dirty bitch. that damn little spring uh, the nub is just barely catching it down here oh, not quite enough to want to hold it in damn it I really wish they wouldn't do that. I wish they would just send it with whatever ones it has to have, not extra ones. But, okay. Let's see where my hand's at. I have a little hand press. Do, 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 do. Damn it. Man. Now, actually, what we're going to do before we start fiddle fucking with the hands, I'm going to pull this out. Okay, the quick date is working. I want to see if we can't get it to line up. Basically, we're watching the date to try and make sure that we get the... Everything lined up on midnight. Or close to it. There we go.
Boom. All right. So, we should be lined up on midnight now. Now, we need to get the hands out. And this would be so much easier without my damn gloves on. Oh, come on. Of course, they got everything wrapped up in a teeny tiny piece of paper. And all this rubber and plastic and shit is making static electricity really show its ass. All right, so hang on a second. Do, do, do. I'll get my silly putty here. Hang on a second, you guys. I gotta grab my magnifying lenses here. For this part, I would really recommend you get something like shit, something like these. You know, hang on a second. I'm going to move you guys kind of over here. Damn it. Hang on. Because this part, you really want to make sure you got everything on here correct. Where's the tool? Oh, not that one. Um, there's that installing tool. Where's the other ones? Pressure to gold is the biggest. Get it started on there. Uh, oh. All right. 
that should be down on there now. That looks good. All right. Now it's time for the hour hand. Actually, where's my little pad? Yeah, there we go. So on that. Put the movement up there. So basically, you guys, with the hands and stuff, this is just really delicate. You just got to be kind of patient. But it's not rocket science. It really isn't. Like, you got to keep it straight. You got to press it down straight. And the main thing about not screwing up is not being in a hurry. Damn it. I'm not close enough. Come on, bitch. Come on. I'm pretty sure I just got that on there correct. And see, sometimes it goes on so easy, it'll scare you a little bit, and you're just not sure that you did it right, but you did. So that, that's pretty cool. All right, so there's that. Now we just have to do the minute hand, and then the second hand, and the second hand is the one that's a huge pain in the penis. Um, because essentially it's not just got to go, like it can go on at any time. Like you ain't got to get it lined up with the 12, but you do have to make it go on this itty bitty teeny tiny shaft. And I know I'm bumping the camera. I'm sorry, you guys. Like I said, I don't even know how this video is going to turn out, but we're, we're trying something new. Like I said, because I like doing this kind of stuff. I like tinkering. Biscuit eater? Give it to me. Now, in this case, if you guys are wondering, most of my tools have either come from Harbor Freight or off of AliExpress. And I know some of y'all are going to be like, Harbor Freight has watch tools? Yes, they do. They've actually got quite a few uh, watch tools. Oh, come on. Oh. And like this blue stuff, I got this because I saw my boy Z using it uh, when he actually did a little tutorial on how to do hands. And matter of fact, if you want to actually learn how to do this, go watch Z's video. Because he did an excellent job showing you. Like, that's where I learned. Damn it.
Now, see, I use my little hand dealies here sometimes because it makes it a little bit easier to get it started. Ooh, that sounds like my dinner's home. Dag on it. This one is just wanting to be difficult. It's difficult to say. Hmm. bitch. Mm. I said, watch making taste the patience of a saint. I don't know. I don't know why I didn't even try. You got, the, you got the pizza woman? Yeah. Alright, I'll be in just a few. I'm trying to get his hands on and trying to make this damn video. Mm -hmm. Son of a bitch. Alright. Now that's that's actually a slight bit not like off on the shaft, but it's off on the time, but it is good enough. As much of a motherfucker as this thing's been, I don't feel like fighting with it. it you know, if if you're that anal compulsive about things then that's fine. You know, I'm typically not even up at midnight. So. All right. Let's, let's kind of show you all what we got here. Let's see if we did everything pretty good. Yep. Okay, let's stretch out. All right, let's see how close we got it. Damn it. Sorry, I don't want my globe. Oh, shit. And looks like the GMT hands is barely catching. Damn it. All right, let's just adjust that just a little bit. All right. Okay, well that, that adjusted correctly. Now let's make sure the GMT hand don't get stuck. Okay, cool. All right. So you see how where I lined it up or where I installed that hand is where midnight hits uh, or the date flips. 
that's close enough to midnight for me to call it good. Um, I'm going to just continue to rotate that around, make sure that this don't hit the, the GMT hand is good. And as long as that's good, uh, let's go ahead and click it back in, back out one, make sure that just correctly by itself all the way around. Awesome. And our date still works just like it should. Awesome. All right. So now we got to put on the seconds hand and that shit is really no fun. Like this is like really, really probably the worst part of it all doing all this. Uh, and move you back over here because I got to get down here and get my face into this. You know, again, I do apologize. You know, I would love to get y'all in closer, but I got to be able to see what the hell I'm doing. All right. So now, shit. Like, there ain't really no good way to bring this thing. I don't know if y'all are going to be able to see it, and I do not want it to fall off this fucking thing here. All right. Come on. All right. See how that's got a little shaft on it? And that little piece there, that little titty. All right. So that's got to go inside the center, and there's a little shaft that has to go up through the middle of that motherfucker. Okay. So when you're putting this thing on, you have to make sure you get it on that the itty bitty teeny tiny center shaft first because that's what it actually runs this thing and makes it move around. But it's got to go inside. It has to go inside. Hang on, I'm sorry. I'm trying to find where the camera's at. You see how that is? You see how you got the little hole there? Yeah. So you see the shaft in the middle, you see the hole. So it's got to go inside the hole, the shaft up its hole, and you can't bend nothing. And I know you guys are probably like, oh my God, there's dust and stuff on your thing. Yes, there is. And it's not a problem. Hey, we got the blow tool. Just blowed it all off. See? No big deal. And I also got my blue sticky stuff, which we will use to clean off the dial. Now, the other thing is too, you gotta be super fucking careful with this thing um, because the second hand is like the easiest one to bend. I mean, obviously it's super tiny. Um, I believe that the white one here is the one we want. Oh, damn it. Oh, I hate this part. It's so fucking hard. See if it runs like it's supposed to. So far, so good. Guess we need to go ahead and open this watch up here. Sorry if I made you guys seasick on this one. Was it not my intention? I don't know. I wish I could pause this so, so I go get me my dinner, but it's all good. I will starve for you guys. I guess I could pause it and should should stay still. All right. 
and unscrew this. And unscrew their crown. All right. So we're almost ready to put the movement into the watch. Um, we got to actually um, pull the crown out. And what we're going to do is we're going to use our little movement stand. Take this bad boy, we're going to flip it over. And tag on it. Mm, there is a little damn. Sorry, I'm. Um, Alright. See if we can zoom in just a little bit here. Move the fucking camera over. All right, now, basically, there's a little lever right here. You got to push down on this, and the crown pulls out. The little lever, like I said, it's like right up here. There's like a little arm that just like sticks out. It's like a little dot. Uh, let's see where the hell it would go. Yeah, right here. See that little dot right there? That's where you push down. And again, you got to do that while it's uh, in the running position. All right, so we want to gently drop this into the watch. Line that up. Mm. Looks like we might need a ring on this one. Okay, well, that's the case. Not a problem. I do have a couple of plastic rings laying around. Let's see if this one will work. No, that will not work. What else do I got? Yeah, that might work right here. That one might work right there. Let's go ahead and see if we can't get the, the crown in there. What's the difference between this crown and that crown? Hmm, okay. So, we're going to unscrew this one. Okay, there's that crown there. And then, let's see. I really like to get this one off of here. Okay, well that's not happening. Uh, that other one was the same way. It just won't budging. Alright, so where's my extra crown at? Oh shit, it's not in that bag. Where the fuck is it? Oh, there it is. It's in that bag. Okay, so we're going to have to trim this one down. See, I didn't go ahead and snip about that much off right off the back. I'm sure. <laughs> I am sure. Yep, uh, that's what I'm saying right there. That's what I'm saying. And to cut that, use a pair of little of these things. Got them in hard freight. And what I said, the crown out. There we go. 
Now, when you screw all this together for its final time, you should put a little Loctite on it. Uh, since we were just test fitting things and all that good stuff, uh, we're going to wait to put some Loctite on there. All right, but I got that screwed down in there. That's looking awfully long. No, it's too long for it to screw down. So I'm going to pop it back out. Trim a little more off. I'm sorry, I'm doing this off camera, but all you have to do is you just thread this into there. Yeah, sorry, it's a lot easier for me to do this when it's off, off the camera. There we go. There we go. Oh. All right, we got something now. Okay, so that fits in there all nice. All right, so we need to put the spacer on that side, which that should do just fine for that. Oh, maybe I gotta flip it over. Maybe better if I flipped it over. Sure, they don't interfere with that. All right, let's look at it from this side. Make sure shit is in there. Uh, you can't go by the bezel on the same because the bezel don't line up right. That goes down. All right. Okay, so we've got the movement in. Cyclops lines up pretty decent. It's all looking pretty flush. Crown screws down. All right, let's put the gasket back on. And 
put the case back back on. Oh, ain't this a bitch. All right. Well, looks like I will have to trim down that top level of my spacer there. Because everything else is lining up fucking mint. But that is in the way of the threads. Mm, ain't that a bitch. Ain't that a bitch. All right, well... Basically, um, I got to do a little bit of modifying to make this work so I can put the case back back on. But as you guys, I guess, kind of saw, maybe, um, you know, I do got all that in there. And again, this, like with any other kind of mod modifying work, you know, whether it be on cars or watches or whatever, uh, there's trial and error. And like, again, I got to pop the movement back out anyhow uh, because, you know, I got to make sure I got the insides good and clean and everything like that. Um, I hope you all found this interesting. You know, I, I just wanted to show you all. I do do stuff every once in a while. I do, you know, actually fiddle with the watches and things. Um, but yeah, you know, am I an expert? By no means. No. Uh, you know, cause I'm sure there'll probably be a whole lot of like super anal, butt retentive fucking people out there. that are like, Oh my God, this, oh my God. That. Yeah. Well, you know what? It's my shit. Okay. I'm not trying to sell this thing to nobody. You know, I just got the parts and pieces because I wanted to try. So, uh, at any rate, um, I'll get that all finished up and put everything back together. But I just looked and it's been 51 minutes. So yeah, I'll check y'all later. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, become a member. Bye. Of course, and of course, here it is at 420 or just there after. Uh, actually, this looks like it might be a minute, a minute uh, ahead. But um, here's the watch all finished up. Scooby, please shush. Daddy's trying to work. But okay, you're on YouTube now. You happy? You happy? There you go. You, the whole world's seeing you be in the butt. Now stop. All right. So I got the watch all done. Here it is all finished up. You going to be a crybaby for everybody? Now stop when I take the camera off you. No, you're being a fussy butt. Stop. All right. So at any rate, the watch is all finished up. Everything's running good. And of course here, y'all can see I'm editing the video. So at any rate, just had to wrap this up. All right. Thanks. Later.